In today's video, we'll be making a team of players who have interacted with me. What a team we have for today's video. Usually our squads aren't as good as this. But we're using players who have interacted with me. Mainly the good players are from uh, my edit account because I've even made an edit or something about them. So we're having Kunku, Edwards, like the few posts, the Doku, Cornet, I've been on his story a few times. Um, but then, you know, the lower rated players, so like Atati, Ajeti, Johnston, Abada, Moy, uh, Declan Gallagher, he followed me at one point on Twitter. He's either blocked me or deleted his account. I'm hoping it's the deleted account part. Um, but yeah, everyone else just kind of interacted, got the goat Connor Hazard, and then it's basically all the way down to Doak. So we've got a decent squad. And it's done on Korea Club, so we have these kind of like regions. Uh, so yeah, let's get into today's video of how good this team can do in the Premier League. A tough away game to start off, away at Nottingham Forest for Twist FC as you can see. Um, a tough game for many this away ground with some great fans at the city ground. Oh, Nottingham Forest could score and it's saved by Emi Martinez. Corne is doing well here. Can he play it through? It's Doku. Doku has the chance to get the first goal for Twist FC and he does it. I don't think many of would have guessed time. I think a lot of you would have maybe said Nkunku, maybe Oldson Edward. But it was the man Doku, the man without the face scan, that got the goal on the counter attack from the corner. Corner, corner, how he pronounce it, does so well. Get it through to him and uh, Hendo had no chance in nets. Corner out wide. Oh, he gets the ball in, it's Odson Edward and it's still 1-0. Christopher Julian on the ball, a very topical time to talk about Julian as he gave the ball away there. I was about to just sit on about his uh, Glasgow Derby goal in that cup final. And it's Lingard, oh poor pass and I was too busy trying to focus about telling you the upcoming match. And how um, <laughs> Christopher Julian scored in the last cup final between the two sides. But Lingard uh, didn't like uh, my talking. And it's Odson Edward, but it's saved. Rio Atati gets it into Edward. Edward gets another chance, but he scores this one. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be Edward. I forgot to say I made David Martindale the manager, because he's actually DM'd me a few times. I could have uh, had Andrews the manager because he's actually done one of those um, what's it, reading tweets videos and he, uh, he said he loves me, I might chuck it on screen if I remember to do it when editing. Love you too Kevin, <laughs> that's all I can say. Edward, it's Doku, can Doku make it free, it's saved and it's out for a corner. In Kunku to take. It's Christopher Julian! And I was just all about earlier when we conceded the one goal from Nottingham Forest. How topical it is to have him when he does that iconic knee slide as if it was just the cup final again. Great topical time to have Julian. Hopefully we can have a star felt moment similar. Doku out wide, he cuts it back. And it's Odson Edward, oh it's off the post. <laughs> Odson Edward. He gets it through to Doku who just appears to love a counter attack from a corner here. He tries to cut inside, goes with the left foot and it's another goal for Doku. He got the first goal for the club and he's made it 4-1 now. This is on legendary difficulty by the way so not on force are just terrible. Odson Edward, he gets it through to Nkunku. Nkunku turns and it's a free kick. Digne to take. It's a weird camera angle for Digne as well and I should have probably took it with Nkunku but uh, they had the slightly better free kicks but I hate that um, run up angle. It's Ruben Neves. Neves loves a screamer. Oh, and he does it. Just typical Neves. He's just always the best player in the league. We've got Neves. Ruben Neves. I just don't think you understand. Full time 5 1. That's probably the easiest legendary difficulty match I've ever had. So cheers, Nottingham Forest. A good first month, I have to say. You know, three wins out of four. Weird how he drew to West Ham but beat Chelsea with a Jetty getting the winner weirdly at Stamford Bridge but we move. It's our fifth game of the season away at Old Trafford as we're both currently tied on 10 points. The top four are all on 10 points after four games. Can we try push towards uh, maybe holding our place in that top four for now at least. If we can get a European finish with a team of players that have interacted with me I'd be buzzing. 
Edwards! Hudson Edward! Hudson Edward with a spectacular finish to beat David De Gea in goals and Manchester United trail. Less than 10 minutes into the game, a ball towards the back post. It's headed away well. Neves wins it in a lovely finish as Hudson Edward gets beyond his man, Rafael Varane. Lovely finish. Edward against Martinez. It's Oddson Edward. It's still with Oddson Edward and he makes it too. Maybe legendary difficulty is too easy as French Eddie makes it too. Casimiro, Bruno Fernandes and Henry Martinez with the save. And Sancho. Sancho from distance and doesn't really trouble us there. And Martial. Martial from distance and he puts it wide to power. Juranovic oh. takes him down, he gets out wide to Fred, it's Jaden Sancho and it's saved and we somehow keep it 2-0. The position here is it's Anthony Martial, what a tackle, but it doesn't matter, oh it's offside thankfully. And Kunku tries to dink it over to Alton Edward, he takes it down but can he get the finish? Sadly cannot. Juranovic bombing up the wing, Juranovic gets in and it's Christopher Nkunku. The man who's linked to Chelsea for about 100 million makes it free at Old Trafford. Brilliant header to run off Casemiro and get that in the back of the net. It's Rashford here and it's 3-1. I think it was a penalty anyways. Due to our missed time interception there. It's Rashford, the man who's in form IRL, gets a goal. A similar sight for many United fans at the moment. A 3-1 win away Old Trafford, huge result, I think I'll have to see if there's a above lens, I think there is, I think it's all on it. I'm pretty sure that isn't just reserved to squad battles. Ooh, a huge game this was as both teams are first and second, and it's a draw as the robot Haaland saves City. Halfway through the season, we're top of the league, we put up to Ultimate, you can see the name of the stadium, the first home game you'll be seeing in this video. We now get to see in this fantastic stadium is Ultimate. Uh, the level we should be playing at or were we a bit uh, fluky of our legendary wins, we'll have to see. You can see the stadium isn't the biggest but that was more just due to our sub count. I'd love to, you know, make it one of the bigger uh, generic stadiums but that will come in time hopefully as we got a huge block. Gabriel Jesus, can he make it 1-0? Gabriel Jesus, he gets that cross and we get away. We split open here is Xhaka! Xhaka from distance makes it 1-0 to Arsenal, Ultimate's feeling a bit harder as we're struggling to get out of our own half. Xhaka again from distance, this time doesn't get the same result. Oddson, Edward, oh it's blocked. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, Langley gives it away and Jesus punishes us because we're on Ultimate. If I knew how to make sliders, I think for a for, uh, my understanding, I think Legendary with sliders would maybe be better than Ultimate. So, if you know any sliders, you know, DM me on Twitter or something, at Kevin to 67 then we can try and make these challenges those maybe a bit better suited to my skill sets. Um, I'll maybe have a mess around as also try to make it free and Amy Martinez stops it. Odds on Edward, he gets it past Saliba and he can't get past Ramsdale but he does so well. Just to chase that ball down and keep the pressure on. If we had got that goal, it could have been huge. Edward is a, a hard worker in this game, I must say. As Edward has run half of the pitch and he's somehow not got a goal. His efforts this game deserve much more. Xhaka, and it's Jesus who makes it free. You just get punished for like absolutely every like tiny mistake, but... Uh, 3-0 defeat, I think I might try legendary with sliders because uh, that wasn't great. This might be the last game of the video as Man City could win the league with three games to go against us. As sadly we've uh, let our lead uh, at the top kind of slip since the last time you've seen anything. So uh, yeah, we've also put back onto legendary, but we've like put the sliders up a little bit, so like 10 or 5 on each thing, just so they're at least a little bit better than just the generic legendary, and we'll see if uh, that's any better. In Kunku turns, in Kunku delivers, and Edelson catches. Oh, yeah. 
So Kevin De Bruyne and what a save. Alan, Alan lets in De Bruyne, that's another save. Mares, Mares gets it across and Phil Foden can't get it on target. You watch out, here is a shot from distance and Martinez with a save. What can Han do here as he plays it back and we get the block in. Kevin De Bruyne but we mess it up round the back. We've done so well to stop De Bruyne and Han and then give the ball away so cheaply for Phil Foden to make it 1-0. It's Bernardo Silva, big save. Probably because we've put the pace of them up by 10%. Oh, and they've done us there. I thought Hound was going to shoot, so I slid across to block it. But because I've put uh, <laughs> all the sliders up a fair bit by 10 or 15 at the break, I put them all up on number 5. Just to make City feel a bit more of a challenge, and uh, yeah, they feel a little bit now closer to ultimate. <laughs> And City won the title against us, so the best we can finish is second. So we might as well end it there as Pep celebrates winning yet another Premier League with the citizens. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video, you know, using a little bit more of a clickbait video. I hope you don't mind that, but it's more just an idea of a concept. I thought it was a pretty good video idea. If you've got any suggestions, DM me on Twitter, reply to me on anything. Or I'll even leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.